Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Mist Survival Season 3, Episode 24. So, let's take a real quick look around. So we've got our, uh, our fence starting to go in back here. And then at that point we will be able to break this fence down. And then hopefully we can build uh, a walk area right there. Uh, We've uh, got this going on. We, of course, we've got the house back here, uh, the drying racks. We've got this area in here with a little bit of storage. Uh, we've got the three drying racks that we added in. We've got the saw machine. Uh, I've been working on that, getting some wood going. And we've got another problem. So. Here are our ladies. They are glitched out. Now, I yeah. can communicate with her, but she won't go anywhere. I, I can assign her jobs. Nothing. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. We had some sulfur in there. We've got the workbench in here, the reloading bench in here. Uh, of course, we've got this area closed in. Uh, last episode, or two episodes ago, uh, we finished our walls and completely enclosing the area. We built our little zombie uh, killing thing here. But yeah, the girls are a problem. And honestly, without the NPCs, I'm not sure how viable the game is to continue, you know? But I, uh, I have made a new shield and reinforced it. I have got an axe in my inventory. Well, let's see now. I'm trying to remember where... I know where it is. I don't know the easy way to get to it, but I know how to get there. <laughs> Damn it. Seriously, I'm just going off the edge there. And it's like I ran into a freaking brick wall. So, we want to go, oh my god, have mercy, <laughs> that was not good, um, that was not good at all, alright, well, don't be in such a hurry, I'm going to have to come farm some cars after a while, but I like to try to do that off camera. We're going to head out this way. And we want, I'm heading out to the mine. So I've made a new shield. I've upgraded it to a reinforced shield. And we are going to head out to the mine and see about getting some more stuff or bullets. Going through here is not a problem. It's this one up here we have to go through kind of quickly because there is a sniper up in that tower. end up going all the way to the end of this road and this gets us out to the new the new mine so I'm wondering if they're gonna actually open the, uh, the old mine again uh, you know the door inside I need my axe. Four, five. And let's go ahead and save. So once we clear, so the way this works, if you don't remember, you can go out and save just like at the other mine. But this one has some uh, some infected. 
At least they did. Both of these go down to the same area. Now, I believe there was something right up oh, there it is right there uh, all right we got the pick for the bow so we'll go ahead and take care of this don't need any more iron I don't believe but oh that's zinc yep zinc is good zinc makes brass should have been another there it is it went inside the wall saltpeter zinc and saltpeter. So we, we would like some sulfur. No. Okay. some iron. Where did the other one go? Hello? Iron. Alright. I don't want to go any farther that way. The Berserker is located in here. Spoiler alert. Alright. So we'll head outside. We'll get up here. And I will see you guys in just a second when I reload. So we're back. I'm going to resave. All right. Let's go see if those uh, baddies have uh, spawned in here. We shall see. Kind of dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, it looks all right on the video. All right. Uh, we'll take that, and we are going to be making some light bulbs. I don't know how many of them there were. I think there were, there's either four or five per. I don't think I need any more of those. All right, let's go ahead and save it. And so our shield is already down to 86%. So it's not really good for, I was hoping that if we bash them first, that that might alleviate some of the damage, but it does not appear to be. 
Ooh, looks like there's two nodes here. Oh, good. So we got some sulfur as well. Awesome. Uh, please find another one. Guess not. All right, I think that's all that we're going to... So it looks like there's four that spawn each time. percent so that's 15 percent so we'll be able to get about six trips through the mine per shield it wasn't hard to make the the scraps were the big one metal scraps. Alright, we got that. Oh, look at that. That must have been from last time. Are we only getting four sulfur per node? stinks. Oh, look at that. Cool. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, it looks like four sulfur per node. All right. Yep. I think that's the one we don't want to cross through. So if you couldn't guess, just more of a gathering episode here. And I really don't want to waste bullets. They will not come outside. Might not be a bad idea to come here at night, but that may be inviting additional spawns. Infected coming in from outside. A lot of, a lot of issues here, so anyway. Alright guys, well again, I will see you back here in just a second once we get it reloaded let's see how much room do i have in here um tell you what i am a little hungry and thirsty let's eat that real quick all right and let's drop our solid stacks here do that that salt, some more bottles. All right, there might have been some duct tape in there that we could have used. That's all right. There we go. All right. So we want to save it just in case, you know, we die, we can restart right there. And we're at 86% on our shield. So I am going to want to see what the repair cost on that is. more and we're down about 10 percent all right that guy did not notice me in the least Uh, 
I'm tempted. Hello. <laughs> don't need that so let's start here I think that's all okay so yeah we, we have that I just want to make sure all the stuff's in the number slot I know it's supposed to be in so we've got four and five four is the axe five is the shield I was hoping to get a little more copper, but this is all good stuff. This is all good stuff here. I think this is zinc. And that would be correct. Definitely needed more sulfur. So what we're gathering this for, again, if you forgot, is to make... Um, cat how you doing down there uh, this is to make gunpowder oh, another double Are you gonna come up here and get on camera all right this is George stick your head George how you doing <laughs> no you cannot sit on the keyboard please I think we got everything there. All right. And this must this is iron, I believe. The dark the dark veins. Yeah. Awesome. And there's usually there we go. This should be more zinc. Oh, there's one that went in the bucket. Cool. All right. Well, guys, I am going to go ahead and head back to the base. I think I got everything I wanted to do here. Oh, look at that. Another chunk of zinc. Uh, I am going to farm up some uh, cars on the way back. So no sense in you guys looking through watching that. All right, let's see. We got eight. Just get everything out of here. Damn, I wanted some more copper. We might go back to the other mine to get copper. And yeah, that is what it is. So not the best uh, place to get copper, but uh, but you can. You can get some. All right, guys. Well, we will see you back at base, and uh, we'll go over any other loot that I get. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, well, I'm back a little early because we stopped to do some cars, and of course, there was a bear present. Um, so, just wanted to show you kind of what we had going on here. So, this is all the stuff that we got. Let's see, what is one of these car parts? This one? few more spark plugs. All right, let's, let's see. Do I have to have... All right, I want all the meat. I've got that. It's 11.15. All right. I was thinking there might be a uh, 
mist coming in there, but there is not, so that's good. Uh, let's see, we are going to butcher, and we're going to take the fat, and I, I do have an axe, good, alright, so we're going to butcher the head, and we've got that, awesome. I don't think there's anything else I want. I don't need the guts or the... Do I maybe go ahead and take those? Why not? Just in case I need them. Alright. Let's go ahead and get back to camp. I did clean out these cars down here. Not all of them. There's a few left. I got a good chunk. Ooh. Also, I can get my uh, 10 liters of water. Come on, I had a bucket. Oh. Oh. There it is. bucket. Awesome. And let's get back to camp. I really like how the camp came out, but uh, so let me know in the comments what you guys think about continuing uh, or just restarting at some point in the future uh, because like I said I'm, I'm a little I'm a little frustrated with uh, the NPC's inability to alright we're going to put that there that one will go there, and I believe I need some fuel. Okay, I do have eight hours of that. All right, let's go ahead. We'll put three on this side. Only two on that side, that's fine. Put the firewood down here. We'll ignite. Boom. And I want to go ahead and cook up. I only want to cook up three pieces. And it does take a few minutes, but not not an astronomical amount of time. Uh, let's see. Let's go into our equipment. They just fill you up better. And it appears that you either we're not getting as hu hungry as quick, or the uh, it's not taking as much food to fill us up. Don't know which. Alright. Alright, so we got that. Let's go ahead and take out some salt. I'm going to put these in here. head over to this. Now the problem is, right, we may not we may not need all, I mean we may not have room for all this. And I don't think I'm going to need two racks or three racks full of meat, right? 
probably didn't need to kill, I mean, I probably didn't need to harvest the bear, but let's go ahead and eat that one. We'll put that one on there. And you know what? I guess I am going to just cook this because I'm not going to have room. We turn our light on. So this one's full. That one's full. And I believe, man, we had room for a little bit on that one. I can pull that off. Yeah, I only got room for six, which is when you get four from one piece, so. All right, so we'll end up with six pieces of meat and then a lot of dried meat. Now, somebody said recently, I did hear somebody talk about the drying racks. So we had talked in a previous episode that even if it got down to 0%, right, you could still eat it and it would not be detrimental off if you left it on the rack until you ate it. Supposedly that has been fixed or, you know, nerfed or whatever. All right, we're going to do that. And then let's head over here. All right, and we have, uh, oh, and you know what we need to do here. This will take the first piece of meat. So we want the raw one first before any of these other ones. And you see how the raw one, if we would have left this one up there first, it would have used the cooked meat. So just make sure you don't make that mistake. All right, we will add these to the bottom here. We'll add our cooked meat up here. So we're good there. And I'm looking for, I'm looking for my feathers right here. All right, so I do have three. Got, I need one stick. And I need one arrowhead. And that is going to be up on this. Oh, the girls are still stuck. And they've been stuck there for a while. So it's not going anywhere. So. You know, I'm going to make an executive decision. You know what? We're going to call this the last episode. Because, uh, you know, I think right now we're in maintenance phase. And the fact that we can't use the NPCs, and I don't know if that's something specific to my game, if it's something you're seeing in your game. But, um, yeah, I kind of like the way the base came together. I like the outer wall. I like being able to walk the perimeter. You know, we can use the, oh, hello. We can use the house. And like I said, once that was done, I was hopeful to put one of those frameworks to get across there. And if we could, then we could actually get the whole perimeter with the exception of the log pile. And even over there, couldn't we put, couldn't we put those from here to the house? Maybe those those uh, those frameworks. But this is the furthest I have ever gotten in the game. Uh, basic wooden arrows. All right. Not sure why they were over here, but um, yeah, I just don't know that there's a whole lot left to do, and you know. The, you saw that when Kate was stuck over here with the workbench, right? We had to tear down the workbench completely to get her unstuck. And I just don't... 
feel like yeah I was hopeful maybe if I moved that 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 would help but it's not so yeah I you know that's that's too bad and I apologize I you know, it's not my fault I don't think that I did anything but the fact that they can't do anything is really troubling so but anyway let me know what you guys think of the save um, I am gonna go ahead and end it we're gonna end this series here um, and if you follow my channel you know I do football manager as my primary save and then I usually do one game as a secondary save so uh, I've got a couple of games that I'm thinking about and actually I am doing a save but it doesn't take a lot of time for football uh, front uh, not front, draft a sports pro football which if you have not checked it out check out uh, season 7 episode 1 <laughs> and there is a free game giveaway that I am doing on the channel through uh, Christmas. We'll have the drawing on Christmas Eve. So if you want to check out the series, see what the game looks like, and then enter to enter to have a chance at the uh, free copy of the game, uh, make sure you follow the rules to register. And uh, would love to give uh, give one of you guys a copy, but. Uh, I don't know what other what game I'll do next. I don't usually come back and do the same save right back to back. So uh, I'll go through my uh, my catalog of games, see what I, see what's out there, uh, and we will uh, we'll probably do that. But I do enjoy Mist a lot, Mist Survival a lot. We will definitely be back. Uh, so I hope you stay subscribed to the channel. Uh, check out some of the other content while you are around. And you know what? At the end of the day. Let me know what you think of this base. Give me some pointers or building tips that maybe you would change. Uh, and I will take all that under advisement. Like I said, I would like to finish building that. But just, you know, honestly at this point without the NPCs, even if I went and got Scott, I'm not 100% positive Scott would be any better. Uh, we could have him doing tree chopping, but we've already got the, the fences up. And we built the houses, so we've kind of done all the hard work ourselves. So we really don't have a need for Scott either. So my apologies for the uh, NPC glitch, guys. I hope, uh, you know, if you have any idea what caused that or what may have caused that, uh, let me know. Uh, again, it was, you know, Kate, you know, did it twice, and now Rachel's done it. I, I have no idea. So... You know, I'm just at a loss. So, thanks for watching the series, and uh, we will be back in the mist one day, uh, hopefully not in the near, too, too distant future. Words. And, uh, guys, thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.